Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Tinkerer. Uh, what I'm going to do this week is install a composite video output into a old Sega Master System 2. So these normally, they connect via the old UHF TV analog signals. So you need a TV tuner, uh, like this old uh, TFT screen that I've got here. It's got an analog tuner card in it. Um, which works okay, you can see it's playing Sonic, um, but the problem is the screen quality is really bad, it just, it's just blurry, there's no definition to the colours on the edges, and it's, it just doesn't work well at all. Um, so what we're going to do is take this little gizmo here, and uh, I got this from uh, thefuturewas8bit.com, so tfwab.com. I'm not affiliated with those guys anyway, I just bought a couple of these to use. Um, I used one of these in my Binatone Master System, um, uh, sorry, Binatone TV Master 6. And you can uh, look that up on my channel as well and see how that made a massive difference to the output on that screen. Um, so the idea is that instead of having the UHF output, uh, we connect this via this cable here. It's got a free... Uh, Free pin output on that, which then takes it to uh, this kind of socket that you've got there. But we should get a lot better definition and color and, and everything out of this. And so we're going to crank open the old master system. Okay, this is going to be really easy. There's just one, two, three, four, five screws on here, and we'll just open that up. Once we've got that off, we've got a few more screws here to undo uh, to take this top shielding plate off. No, that screw is different to the other ones. How does a circuit board come off? Okay, so once you've undone those screws, um, there's um, nothing really holding it in other than some plastic lugs. There's these tiny lugs here, which go through the motherboards. And this was really, really difficult to get out of. And you can see I've broken one of the plastic lugs that was there, which is a shame, but there you go. So we can set that to one side and figure out what are we going to solder onto. So this is the normal TV modulator. and what we can do is take the outputs, take the inputs that go into here and replace them with what we've got here. And, and you notice there's four wires, so I just need to find a ground. Um, now you can actually just desolder and take this TV modulator off, which looks like it will just be those three connections and some underneath here as well. If I can, I'd rather keep the modulator on and, uh, and work around it. So let's see if we can do that. So I'm just going to cut these uh, cables down. Um, it's said that the shorter you make these cables, the better. And let's just get the, the ground in place the same as the modulator uses. Okay, I'm going to thread that round that way simply because on when you reassemble the board in here, this has got a very hard, sharp edge. So if I was to put the board on there, then there's a danger it might end up going through the wire at some point. So I figure it's better to come out over here, which is a bit smoother. What I'm going to do then is come out through the hole here and attach this just to the back of the console so I'm not having to cut any more holes. So I want to make a good enough, make sure I've got enough length to get around that way and then cut these off just giving myself a little bit of leeway. So let's do 
that. There. So this first one's red. So that should give me enough room if I did want to put a composite cable back in here. It's not ideal, but it's better than cutting a hole in the case. And that will stick on there. So, might as well give it a try first, right? So I've got it all back together, and so let's check it out. You can see it works okay. Apart from it's got Sonic the Hedgehog in there and it's not playing Sonic the Hedgehog, which is a worry. <laughs> That's better. The thing is, I don't, I think it might be something wrong with this screen. I don't know what's going on. These pixels aren't defined. I've seen, seen screenshots of other people that have done this mod and these pixels have been a lot more defined. You've got a kind of a, almost ghosting effect. Um, it, it's difficult to describe unless you can sort of see the screen up close. We tested it on um, the CRT upstairs to see how that looked, and it looked a lot better. What we've got to remember is these consoles were created at a time when everybody was using CRTs, and they were using video technology to try and make the screen look smoother and the animation look better. And I think that kind of thinking conflicts with what we've got with modern day screens. So something that looked good in a CRT just doesn't look good on these. Uh, but I've seen RGB mods that look really pin sharp and every single pixel looks beautiful. So I was hoping for a bit more of that to be honest. I don't know, I'm disappointed with this one. Um, the mod's gone okay, I think that it's doing what it should be doing, the little board that's on there. Um, but I'm, I'm yeah, just a bit disappointed with this one, which is a shame. And then having said that, uh, I mean, it's a little Z80 CPU that was, uh, you know, back in the days when I was still using a Spectrum, and this, this is light years ahead of what that was doing. So, anyway, there we go. Um, I'll show you quickly the mod as it was. So it's just stuck on the back like that. Uh, you could argue that I should make a mod of a console which is a little bit more OEM, but I kind of like not drilling holes and not damaging the original hardware in any way. This is very easily reversible. A couple of solder points, it's, it's really very little to it, and I'll be careful when I take this on and off. Um, and I also kind of like a modded console that looks like it's a modded console, which of the, this obviously does. So. Hmm. So there we go, that's the end of another Tinkerer episode. Thanks very much for watching. Remember, if you liked it, click the like button, and uh, subscribe to the channel, get to see more of the videos that I'm doing. Check out some of the others where I've done other similar mods. And uh, yeah, comment and let me know what you think. And uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya.